love so it's time for another lace wig video this one is my best lace wig so you guys know i have been working with them for so many years they are one of my top favorite wig vendors on the internet so you'll definitely have to check them out you do get this great little brush comb thing and a wig cap and of course an elastic band and yes aunties, the hair so this wig that they did send me is a 360 lace wig it is 18 inches in virgin indian remy loose curly hair and it is their heavy density 180 percent density three combs and an adjustable strap so i didn't even use the um wig cap well not the wig cap i didn't even use the black elastic band because because I didn't need to because you know the way I'm going to hear this is super duper easy so the first things first you want to go ahead and put your lace wig on because the reason I'm saying is to put it on is because a lot of times when we get these lace wigs they're a little bit too big you know like we got those little flappity flap ear tabs or on the side sideburn type things and it kind of makes it hard to put the wig on so what I do is I customize it to my head circumference so what I do is I cut off the excess lace that's above my ear so that way it does fit on my ear properly it is not all tight and pushed back or anything like that so that is what you see me doing here that little bit of extra hair I'm just gonna cut away at that so that way it fits properly like I don't really want any sideburns all the way down to my sideburns okay so for one it doesn't say that the hair is pre-plucked like the hairline does not say it's pre-plucked but from the looks of things it's a very very like thin at the beginning I didn't even pre-tweeze it like I didn't pre-pluck it I just this is straight out the bag you guys seen me I took it out the bag I didn't do anything to it this is just how I got it and I do want to show you guys how you can just customize it without having to kind of like customize it so you want to take your rat tail comb like you know the rat tail comb with the metal ending you can get the one with the plastic tips but I really prefer the metal tips because you can get like a precise part you can get precise everything and I'm going to use my eyebrow tweezers or my eyebrow trimmers to just give myself some baby hairs you can use scissors if you want, but if you don't want a blunt cut and you don't want it too even, I would definitely suggest using like some eyebrow to, um, sh shapers or like, you know, a razor comb. Now what you're going to do is you're going to go to the Dollar Tree. You're going to go get this mousse. This is like an amazing mousse at the Dollar Tree salon styles. It's a dollar, like seriously, it's a dollar. Okay, and you want to go ahead and you want to put that all over the front of your hairline so that way you can sculpt the front, you know. You don't want to gel everything down because, I mean, gel is cool, but who wants to do that? Now, you guys know what I be talking about when I say my sculpting brush. This green toothbrush is my sculpting brush. If you ask my daughter, she'll tell you it's hard as hell, but it's a sculpting brush, okay? So, it sculpts the baby hairs. Now, you guys know I don't like my baby hairs all stuck to my forehead or gelled down because that's just not what baby hairs is supposed to do. So, for me, I do like them a little bit loose and free, as you guys see here. Normally, what will happen is I'll let them dry and then I'll pick the ends up so first things first I'm going to use my hair mousse you can go ahead and spend four dollars on mousse if you want to but I'm telling you get this pink can from the Dollar Tree and you'll be happy and you'll be happy that I told you to get it because it's only a dollar okay and what I do is I sculpt the hair now of course I'm sculpting it's not going to hold the entire wig but that mousse is like extreme hold it's like number four on the five scale so you know it's really good so this is what the part looks like okay nice parting of course I know you do see my wig cap I'm sorry about that but I didn't really have any that was more or less my direct color so for this video we're just going to use this one and I'm definitely going to show you guys how I kind of like put that makeup on and melt that lace like you can melt the lace without kind of like even having to do too much you know what I'm saying like who wants to do too much now so the good part is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna give myself a part so I'm gonna use some conditioner water like this is water with conditioner in it and do you see how these curls are should pop in like seriously look at that this is like some really nice hair now some people would use a hot comb for this but I'm just gonna use my barrel curler because I do have a hot comb but this is curly hair and I'm not really trying to be straightening it plus I don't really like the hot comb too much anyway so I really like the um, the curling barrel it does wonders and it was only twenty dollars at Walmart like you know anyway so I'm gonna go ahead and make this part like really really fab you know fabulous and I just want to make it precise so that's what I'm doing here and I'm just going to go ahead and get my curling barrel and make it a little bit better then I'm gonna do the same thing on the sides now remember I did use the mousse right now being that I put the mousse on the edges and a little bit right there once you put the heat to that it kind of makes the wig stick down even more so the mousse and the hairspray make heat with along with heat added will definitely allow the wig to lay tight 
So as you guys see, I am just laying it tight. And if you guys are like, what hairspray did you use? You guys know I love to use Pump It Up. Okay, I'm like, yeah, I know, I know. I did say Aussie Instant Freeze. And I do actually love Aussie Instant Freeze too. That is my next go-to. But if I'm going to be doing like something to adhere my wig, then I'm definitely going to use the Aussie Instant Freeze because it just works wonders. So this is me melting the lace and adhering it. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like, for reals, for realsies, like, this is like a beautiful wig. Of course, I'm going to go ahead and put some of my pressed powder in. Just to that part, so that way it will look a little bit more natural. Definitely, so that way you don't see my wig cap. Like, yeah, I ran out of the exact color wig cap. That's what we're gonna call it, the exact color wig cap. So I had to kind of like doctor this one up. But, girl, this lit, this wig is definitely lit from bestlacewigs.com. Like, I do like it a lot. I especially like the fact that it's long, but it's not too long, so it's 18 inches. I did request 16, but they didn't have that in stock, so I went with the 18, and I'm glad that I did. It's very pretty. Look at the density. Look how natural it looks. Like, the sides are not all thick. This is like some gorgeous Indian Remy curly hair. I like this a lot, and when I adhere my wigs like this, I can definitely wear them for about a day or two, depending on how I tie them down at night, but there's no mess on my wig cap, so there's no glue, there's no um, gel, it's just some mousse and a little bit of pump it up hairspray. I don't want to do all that glue and stuff because let me tell you guys, it is hectic to get off, it's hell to get off. You have to definitely have to clean the lot. So, a little bit of mousse and some pump it up super hold hairspray, and you're definitely on the go. You can hairspray it down, you can use a little bit of heat from a blow dryer, or you can definitely use the heat from your curling barrel, and it will definitely adhere the wig. So, I I just say try the Dollar Tree for some mousse and definitely check out the pump it up hairspray. All right, you guys, so I was definitely going to do a silent video and just make it all a voiceover, but I absolutely do like this wig a lot from Best Lace Wigs, okay? So for one, this is 180% density. This is their heavy density, natural Indian Remy curly 360 lace wig, okay? And it's 18 inches. So first of all, you guys do know that once you straighten it, flat iron it, hot comb it, whatever, it's definitely going to get a little bit longer than this. But I do like it straight out the box. This is absolutely amazing. Like, I didn't even have to do anything. I'm really happy about that. Like, when I say I didn't have to do anything, meaning I didn't have to tweeze and pre-pluck the hairline so it does come with a natural kind of like um pre-plucked hairline it does look natural it doesn't say that it is but it looked great plus all you basically have to do is just like melt the lace like get your barrel curler or your hot comb whatever you're going to use you definitely can't use flat iron for this but if you give yourself some baby hairs and then just flatten the wig down you're definitely going to be able to make it look as natural as possible plus um some wigs just come looking natural at the hairline anyway i mean like there are some that don't look that great when you first take them out the box and you do have to do something but with this one i am like shocked that the GLW007 does not have too much work to be done to it. So, first of all, let's just talk about, I like the way the lace melts into the cap. I like the way the lace melts into my skin. Like, it's not too brown. I have gotten somewhere, it's just like, girl, you don't have to work with it, work with it, work with it. The knots are acceptable. Like, you don't even have to really do too much, but just get you, like, some good makeup. And hunties, you was out the door I like Best Lace Wigs a lot. They do have, like, some really good density wigs. Like, they're one of my favorite wig websites. I do have quite a few. So keep that in mind. They are one of my favorite wig websites. But the fact that you didn't have to do nothing, hunties. I like when I don't have to do anything. Now, normally I do like my hair a lot longer, but this is so acceptable. It's just so thick and full. Like, I absolutely love the density of this wig. Like, I like to glue it. I like to tape it. I like to gel it. All of that good stuff is great, too. But let me be honest with you guys. 
it is a lot of maintenance, especially if you have to keep it on your head. And also it can kind of destroy your hairline. So I don't really try to put too much gel and glue and tape on my hairline, especially if I'm just going to do like a couple of wig videos for the day, then I'm definitely going to use one of my favorite mousses. Now this is like absolutely one of my favorite mousses simply because for one, it's only a dollar from the Dollar Tree. It is extra firm hold all day, which is the number four on the five scale that they have. It's so Salon Selectives Anti Frizz Curl Sculpting Intense Volume Weightless Control from Root to Tip Volume Mousse. I love this stuff. There's another brand that's at Dollar Tree too. It's in a black can. Stay away from that one. I'm not like a huge fan of this. This one is amazing for a dollar. So if you're at the Dollar Tree, definitely stack up and also pump it up like the Super Hold. Girls, this stuff is also like boss, okay? Seriously, definitely boss hairspray, okay? This works as a glue, like for real. My fingertips get stuck to the hair. You guys can stick with the got to be if you want to, but this, look. Not going anywhere, okay? I love when it's like that. Excuse the white stuff around my hairline. That's my makeup. But not going anywhere. And then once you put a little bit of heat to it, Girl, this thing is stuck down, okay? Like, seriously, I love when I don't have to do anything. No leave out, no glue, no tape, no freaking gel. Just some mousse from the Dollar Tree and a little bit of this. And you are out the door. Like, this will hold for like two days, seriously. Well, but I like it. I love it. I love it. It's good to go. This is what you call amazing. And you don't have to worry about doing all that glue and stuff. Like, for real. Like, I know you guys love the glue and the got to be, but I'm really trying to stick, stare clear away from that stuff. Like, it's great, but you know what? It gets your wig cap inside so messy. So, I really don't really want to mess with the got to be if I don't have to. So, that's just my preference, you know? But you can definitely check out Best Lace Wigs. I will post all of the information for the GL. W007 down below 18 inches, 180% density, 360 lace front, Indian Remy um, natural curly, loose curly Indian Remy wig. Yes. Um, and other than that, I hope you guys have like an amazing week. See you guys soon. Stay deep and deep delicious. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. Show me some love, you guys. And let me know what you think of how I adhere my wigs. Um, I'm pretty sure you guys would think it's a lot easier than all of the extra steps, but you know, it is what it is. I love you and I'll see you guys soon.